Hello, my name is Rajat Talesra and welcome to my YouTube channel. So earlier I had created uh, one YouTube series called Airbnb Cloud uh, in which we developed the entire Airbnb using Ruby on Rails. So now I want to learn React also and in the end I want to integrate React with Ruby on Rails uh, and then eventually move on to Android and all those stuff also. So in this particular video series, I'll be solving some challenges in Ruby, uh, in React, sorry. So there is one website online uh, where they have given a 30 days challenge and on each day, uh, you have to solve one React challenge. And at the end of the 30 days, uh, once you finish the entire challenge session, uh, you get a certificate also. So I would highly encourage you to participate in it. Uh, either by watching my video or directly go to their website and you can do that uh, either way it's fine uh, who, who should view this series anyone who is interested in react that's it uh, anyone who knows basic of html css javascript they should also be uh, making an attempt to learn react because right now it's one of the most popular front-end library uh, facebook uses it heavily right so yeah i would encourage you to do this so first challenge on this particular website I have already solved uh, and all other challenges are logged uh, but I thought I will convert this into a video series and that's why I'm doing this first video won't be a live session for you sort of everything else will be logged and it will be done uh, as soon as we work on it uh, so yeah let's start so you can visit this website codedem.com and in that you can sign uh, basically sign in and create a ch uh, there would be challenges in that there would be 30 days react challenge so you can start that in my case i have already finished the first one first one but i will still do this uh, rest all are logged so we do this each day uh, with the community members okay so let's start the first one let me hide the timer let's visit this So basically they have this entire compiler uh, and we just have to use it so this is the problem statement and this is the code that they have already provided the problem statement is simple sam is learning react and wanted to create uh, increments okay whenever we click on a button the increment should be three times okay the code written by sam is started okay great so let's try this if we click on this, it should increment by 3, multiple of 3, so 3, 6, 9, 12, or it is currently working in 1, 2 only. So let's have a look. Because we are working on click, I will directly start with click. I know React, uh, a bit of React basically. So that's why I, I can easily know that on click is the starting point in this. Now the problem is that we are trying to call this function 3 times, uh, which is not the correct way. At the same time, we are doing increment of one only so let's do one thing let's i'm just experimenting this the i was to so show you the solution but otherwise i will be experimenting a couple of things just do three and that's it it will work but before doing that i want to experiment a bit i'm trying to think how it works run and Five. Okay, so final function is getting called. I, this was just for my better understanding, basically. Okay, and whether this one one will get called or not, let me. Okay, but this is a state, so never mind. Let's get rid of this. So basically, this particular exercise was really easy. Uh, there was nothing special, nothing that was we were learning. So I am assuming that at the end of thirty, second day would be a bit harder than this so i'm assuming that it would be an exo exponential learning curve anyways i'll be supplementing these videos along with i'll be adding uh, a separate youtube series in which i'll be creating i'll be explaining react from scratch uh, for anyone who knows html css javascript they can uh, use that course to understand react from scratch they don't need to know anything about react and i'll cover each and everything from scratch along with that i'll be doing this 30 days challenge so basically learning as well as solving problems side by side so yeah let's try this now now it is working let's stop this 
try this again okay because we are using use state it is already saved this is some concept in react you don't need to understand this right now now let's run these test cases so they have already written test cases these are the three test cases so if we run these test cases and all of these passes that means our code sub submission can be successful otherwise we will have to revisit this code and by the way on my system it will work a bit slow because i am recording and this recording is getting uploaded on the internet simultaneously so yeah it worked uh, it was easy sort of a bit disappointed but i think they are in this they are just trying to make us aware with the editor and all those things so let's see how it goes in next video uh, next, so yeah stay tuned and yeah bye bye do subscribe to this channel